Hello and welcome to the help video for improper fractions. So in this video I'm going to show you how to answer the questions in the online exercise and this is the video for level one. Now when the page loads the questions are generated with a random element so you'll get similar but not exactly the same questions as I've got here. Anyway, I hope you've already learnt this topic at school and this video is really just intended to be revision. Okay, let's start with uh, this picture here of a hexagon. And the hexagon has been divided into six equal triangles. So each triangle is one-sixth of the hexagon. And the whole hexagon is six-sixths. Now, if we've got two whole hexagons and an unfinished hexagon here, what have we got all together? Well, we have two whole hexagons and five sixths of a hexagon. So you could say that we have two whole hexagons and five sixths and write it like that. Now that is the same as saying how many sixths there are all together. So there are six of them here, six of them here, and five of them there. Add those together, six plus six plus five, that is 17, and each of them is a sixth, so we can write that down as 17 sixths. So both of them mean the same thing. We call this a mixed number, because there's whole number parts as well as a fraction. And we call this an improper fraction because the numerator at the top is bigger than the denominator at the bottom. Okay, so what's the trick for changing an improper fraction into a mixed number? So let's look at this one. It's seven halves. Seven over two means seven halves. Well, as you know, there are two halves in a whole one. So how many whole ones are there all together? Well, there are three twos in seven. So there must be three whole ones uh, with one left over. So the answer is seven over two can be written down as three and a half. What we did was we asked ourselves, how many twos will go into seven? The answer was three, with one left over, one half. Okay, let's try another one. This time we have 11 quarters. So how many whole ones do we have? Well, four quarters make a whole one, so we need to know how many fours there are in 11. Well, I think there are two fours in 11, because two fours make eight, and there are three left over. So the answer is two and three quarters. Now this one's getting a bit more difficult. The numbers are getting a little larger, but we know our 11 times table. So we know how many 11s there are in 58. There are five whole ones, because five elevens are 55, and that will just leave three left over. So the answer is five and three elevenths. Oh no, this one's a bit more difficult. I don't really know my 13 times table. I'll write this out as a long division. I'll put 85 inside the bus stop, and I'll divide it by 13. Now I don't know my 13 times table, but I can quickly work it out. Two 13s must be 26, just by doubling that. If I add those two together, I get three 13s, which are 39. I could double that one to get four 15s, so that would be 52. And then add 13 onto this one to get five 13s, which will be 65. And I'll go a little bit further. Let's add 13 onto this 
to get 78. And I'll do one more. I'll add 13 onto 78 to get 91. Right, I think that's as far as I need to go in the 13 times table. Now I can do this long division. So 13s into 8 won't go. So 13s into 85, well that's the biggest number less than 85, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So I'll put a 6 here because 6 13s are 78. I'll do a takeaway and I get the answer 7. So the answer is 85 thirteenths must be equal to six whole ones and seven thirteenths. And that's how you can do it if the numbers are large. Now it's your turn to do the online exercise. You can click the check button as often as you want to see if you're getting the answers correct. If you get a question wrong, simply delete what you've typed in and type in a new answer. You can then press the check button again. If you don't understand, ask your teacher or someone else who may be able to help you. And when you've finished, if you've got enough questions correct, you can claim a trophy. Alternatively, you could refresh the page and try the exercise again with slightly different questions. So this has been the video for level one and the next video will be for level two. That's all for now. Hope you enjoy doing it. See you next time. Bye. You can find Transum Mathematics at www.transum.org, where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free, or jump in with both feet and become a Transum subscriber.